Hello, Elizabeth Hefner, Senior Ruby Ambassador. I really wanted to jump on here really quick. It is April 1st, 2019, which means we just finished the amazing month of March. There was so much growth and earned prizes and iPads and extra $400 bonuses and rank advancements. And it was incredible to see. There's already been convention contest prizes announced for people that have won, not won, earned all of those. And that is just so awesome to see. And seeing those convention credits just go up with all that hard work. So a couple of things that I just really wanted to hone in here um, that I really had to work on this month because I had huge goals at the beginning of March. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna um, use my codes, I'm gonna use my mother-in-law's codes, I'm gonna get 12 joins at least, I'm gonna help my mom get her six joins to get her iPad, and we're gonna pound out this month, I'm gonna help my people go silver and a couple go gold, and I was just so excited. And my month started out strong and I was right on that track to do all of those things. And then we had a major, horrible, life-changing thing happen. Um, my dad had a stroke, a huge stroke, and he passed away. And it was, it's horrible. Um, like, I still cry every day, but you move on, too. It's grief, and I have to deal with that. And, you know, the last thing that my dad would have wanted would have been for me to stop living and stop working towards helping my family with I time saw, freedom. I saw her, um, I saw, I saw grandpa had died. Yes, honey. Thank you. Uh, this is like my 10th take, so we're going to go with it, our little interruption here. Um, so anyway, that was horrible. It was an awful experience to go through. I do not wish that on any of you. And during that two week period of the illness and planning the services and all of that, I really struggled with being able to concentrate on Plexus. I'm sure you can understand. So I stayed in contact with my team. I was trying to let people know like, hey, I will answer your questions. I will get back with you, but I've had this thing happen and people were so understanding. And, you know, so it, it, it just kind of limited my time to do meet these huge goals, right? Um, and then here in Michigan, we had spring break the last week of March. So here's people on the beach and I'm like, they're not worried about their vitamins right now. And so it was just an interesting obstacle to keep working towards. And so what I did is I made a huge list of these people that I've just really been on my heart that I've been wanting to help get started on this journey. And there are probably about 40 people. And so I like really concentrated on relationship building and about 25 of them I like really focused on. And then also through that, I was still working on reaching out to new people, um, of course, because we always want to make those new contacts, especially seeing people that, you know, had some struggles with their health or wellness or had goals or, um, you know, financial things. So I was still reaching out in that fashion too. Um, but I really focused on commenting on about 25 people or so, 25, 30, like really concentrating on, po 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 um, pardon me, commenting on their wall, commenting on their post, talking to them in Messenger about life, um, getting to know them better, as well as, you know, sharing some plexus with them too. And just really using that verbiage of, are you open to hearing Mama, more? Um, is this a good time for Mama. you? Or even using the, this might not be the best time for you, so let's talk about Plexus again in a couple of months, you know? Um, and so through all of that, and I, I love doing that, I love relationship building anyway. And so through that, I was able to get six joints of my own and I helped my mom get two. So I'm very excited for that. And then my team, made some incredible incredible gains so that is huge as well um and i'm just excited that when i was having a rough time my team continued to work hard and press on and they also went to you know in the three-way chats to ask questions and still get that support so it was really cool 
Um, then the other tip that I have is I had one person who knew about my dad. Um, she commented on a couple posts when I was updating about my dad. You know, I'm praying for you, things like that. Well, then when I was, hey, I'm back into Messenger here. I'm trying to help answer your Plexus questions. She just wasn't seeing them and reading them, which is, it happens, you know, people get busy. And so as a last resort, like on Saturday, I just went to her post. I found one that was this really cool post on a piece of furniture that she had been working on. Um, not like a family kid post or something like that. And I commented, wow, this is beautiful. This is amazing. Great job. And then I just said, hey, by the way, you know, I've been able to get back into Messenger and I was able to update in there if you have a second to check it out. Um, and she of course commented, oh, I'm really busy. I'm like, I totally get it. I understand. Just let me know when you get a second to check it out, you know? Um, cause I hate to go to someone's wall and be like, check your messenger. Um, and I definitely wanted to put it in a comment on something, but not be insensitive to her life and, and her, um, family and her role as a mom and a wife. So anyway, that was one of my other tips for you. And I look forward to continuing to really hone in on more relationship building. I just, I really do love that. I know so many others of you do as well. And really sprinkling the plexus in there too and asking more questions about that throughout the conversations too. Oh, and the other one is that some people I was able to con connect with in person at work. Um, I'm a physical therapist in a hospital, so there were a couple nurses that when I would see them, you know, I did not always bring up Plexus. Usually I didn't in person. I said, how are you? How are your kids? You know, talking to them. And, you know, with the huge, amazing sale, I did say, hey, you know, if you have any interest in this, like this is the month to really get talking about it because of this amazing sale that I've never seen before. And then even other people around them were like, wait, what? You know, and so it really opened more doors to even more new contacts. So definitely doing that and then i was just a friend um at work like oh you're you're busy running around can i help get you know get that supply that you needed whatever just to be helpful and to be a kind person um as well so all righty have a good afternoon i'm sure you love the peanut gallery happening here she's adorable and i'm going to go paint with her so have a good day